Hello everyone again. Today I'm going to be going through a quick tip in SOLIDWORKS Composer on using the Cutting Plane tool. The Cutting Plane in SOLIDWORKS Composer is a powerful tool that can quickly create section views with various different controls. To create a cutting plane, I'll simply go into the Author tab and select Create. Now I can pick a direction for the cutting plane to cut along, or I can use the Alt key and select an axis on which to cut. Then I can drag the cutting plane back and forth into the desired location. I can also rotate the plane in free space by selecting an edge of the plane and turning it. Also, I can stipulate specific parts of my cutting plane to apply to. For this example, I've created a selection set of the outer shell components. I will simply highlight my selection set and now I'll create my cutting plane. As you can see, the cutting plane only cuts the external parts I selected, leaving the internal parts intact. In the Properties tab, I have a variety of controls that I can use to specify my cutting plane. I can vary the opacity, change the color, pick an exact axis for the plane to cut along, I can even vary the cross hatching that is shown. One neat capability of the cutting plane tool is the ability to create a union between multiple cutting planes. Say you wish to create an example like this, where I have a small cross section cut out of my assembly. In CAD, this may require some funky configurations or making some complicated assembly level cuts. However, in Composer, I can quickly achieve this look. For this example again, I'm going to use my selection set from the beginning where I only cut the outer parts. I'll first create my cutting planes in the necessary positions. With my planes now created, I'll go into the Collaboration tab, select my desired cutting planes, and then go into the Author tab and choose Union. The Union tool will create a cut based on the intersecting areas of my cutting planes. With a few small adjustments of my cutting planes, I've created a sophisticated section view that would have taken significantly longer in CAD. And that's your quick tip for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative.